Hey guys, Triangle Potato here, and uh, yes, I'm a squirrel. But, I got something pretty cool for you today, and uh, let me just flip around and show you what we got going on. So, uh, basically, what this is, it's, it's like Mumbo Jumbo's day-night smart fountain that changes when it's nighttime. But I added a little twist to it. Sure, it's not quite as compact and everything, but what this can do now is it can turn on right when you're able to fall asleep and then turn off right when you're not able to fall asleep. So let's just uh, hit the button right before nighttime. And uh, as you can see, I can't sleep. But if we waited for our fountain to change, like this, and then our fountain comes out, as you can see, we are now able to sleep. So it's not only a fancy lighting source for nighttime, it's also a bedtime indicator. Now if we were to change it back to daytime like this, you'll find out that we are not able to sleep right when it changes. And yes, it does have a little funky glitch like that. I don't understand it, but it does. But as you can see, we can't sleep. So this really indicates when you are and are not able to sleep while also giving you some light. So let's get on to building it. Ideas. Now, before building and everything, this is the redstone behind it. It isn't that compact. The these are here for delay, so the lava and the water don't obsidian or cobble themselves. And then I just added these circuits in, which only allow a signal out at a certain time during the day. So after a certain signal strength from this disc in here, which would be a disc number, or the disc ward, which would give off 10 strength, this subtracts it from whatever signal and only allows signal out at a certain time. That's how I connected it up to only go off when it's day or night. And, well, let's build it. Now for the front of it, you're going to want to build something like this. So do a 3x3 three three here, indent it by one, do another 3x3, three three, and then come back out and do another 3x3 three three like this. And then above it, we're not actually going to be using all this area. I just mapped out the length, so count with me after the wall. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 7 back, and then the entire width of the wall. And so the first thing you're going to want to do is come to both these ends here, place down daylight sensors, make the one on the right side when facing it, a night sensor like that, and then just a comparator in subtract mode, and the same on the other side, comparator in subtract mode. Now you just want comparators going into both of these with jukeboxes like this. Now for the day one, you're going to want to use this music disc right here, Chirp. It gives off a signal strength of 3, and that way it can only go off during the certain time of day where you're not able to sleep. And as for right here, you want ward like this, and that gives off a signal strength of 10. Our next step is making the monostable circuit. So right here, just break this block, place a sticky piston, do the same on the other side like this, and then put blocks on top of them. And then on the uh, other side of it, going out this way towards the back, a repeater, and then one here as well. Now put a block right here in front of this, and then a block right here in front of this one. And then now we can place our dispensers. So I'll just grab some dispensers. And you want one on this side in front of that block you placed, and same on this side. A dispenser going like this, and they're going to face inwards like this. Now in this one, you're going to want water, but since it is daytime right now, we're going to put the water in there. And then we're going to take an empty bucket, place it there. Then we're going to get some lava like this, and place it in this one right here. Now make sure that you have a hole dug at the bottom of this like that, so this doesn't happen. We could just fix that like this, and I'll break them all, and it'll go down like that. And now all we need to do is add the delays. So after this one on the night sensor, you're going to want to put a repeater here on full tick, delay, and then another one. And then you're going to want to get a block. So I'll just use the same block right here. And then we're going to bring more this way. One, two, 
one, two, three. And now we got two more on full delay. Sorry, I missed that one. Now I'll place another block right here. And then one more repeater on full delay right here. One, two, three. And then a block in front of it. Now we need to add the delay for this side as well. So we'll just bring a repeater out like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we're going to place a block here and come all the way around like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. And then we're not going to put one there. We're actually going to come underneath it. And so we're going to place a block right here. And then we're going to place a block like that. Grab some redstone dust. Place it underneath. And then since that will, when that is activated, that redstone dust, whoops, that needs to be full delay. All these repeaters on this side need to be full delay. But when this activates, this redstone, it'll power this block under this repeater. So we can just break these blocks, put some blocks there, and then add repeaters like this. And that will go into this right here. So now if I were to go turn it to nighttime by clicking this button, we can watch the redstone. Here's the day sensor. It's activated. And see they switch. And there goes the lava. Now if we were to turn it to daytime, like this, we can watch. And there it goes. And now I'll come around. And the water and the strange lava that... Okay, yeah, there we go. And there you have it. That's about it. Now you can just pretty it up by doing some blocks like this. Bringing it across like this, maybe. Whatever you want to do. I quite like the way that works and looks, so, you know. Anyways, yes, I'm a squirrel. Get over it. Squirrel Appreciation Day is not too far from now, and I really appreciate squirrels. Anyways, thank you for joining me today in this redstone video. If you liked anything inside it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. There's a lot more to come. Thanks for watching, guys. That's all for now. Bye. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,